This is Fad, and I'm back again with a new tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you step by step how you can create this effect inside Photoshop. Um, it will be a very easy and um, simple process for beginners. And if you are an intermediate or advanced, stick around because you might see something that might benefit your process in Photoshop. So with that out of the way, let's begin. So I'm inside Photoshop. I have the picture that I will be using for this um, design. Um, you want to get something that is very high quality. Make sure that the quality is fine and there is a decent amount of contrast. Okay, these are the two prerequisites. Before we get started, I want to create a duplicate, put it in a group and name that group backup. Okay. Let's leave it there. So the first thing that I'm going to do is over to this uh, magic wand tool, click and come to this arrow, make sure that cloud is selected. This will give us a very fine selection of our subject and it really saves time, okay? Make sure to use it. So I'm gonna press select subject. Go to this little icon and create a mask. Let's hide this first one. And as you can see, the selection is pretty good, pretty damn fine. Um, that's all I have asked for. But there is one thing I want to get rid of. So if you're using masks, uh, I'm going to show you. Um, press option and click and enter the mask and you're gonna see that there is a little bit of artifacts or blurriness around the selection uh, We don't want that. So I'm going to image adjustments and threshold Okay So now I need an empty layer I'm gonna create one by pressing this, uh, clicking this little plus icon. And I'm gonna to go to edit, fill, and fill the 50% gray. All right. Um, after I do that, go to filter, filter gallery, and add a half tone pattern. Okay, you're gonna find it under the sketch folder. Um, create a half tone pattern and make sure that the size is 12, contrast it at zero. Press OK. Um, change the blending mode to overlay. And what I want to do is position this first little circle right above the ring. Okay, so now it's like uh, just going well with the composition and add in a, a little conceptual touch, okay? So I'm gonna check it. Add a threshold and you can control the amount of threshold. I will go with something like, oh, about one to five, one to six, between one to five and one thirty. I'm gonna go with one three five. So this will uh, heavily depend on the type of pictures uh, that you use. Uh, not all pictures are going to. Uh, go with the same threshold value it depends on the contrast on the amount of light and uh, the levels of gray and light in your picture so the next step is we need to color this okay and in order to create color 
we want to separate this. We want to create a color for the background and a color for the foreground or the subject, okay? So to do this, we already created a mask and we're gonna make use of that. So I'm gonna create or select this mask. I'm gonna press solid color and let's set it to pink. Yeah, something like this. I'm gonna duplicate it and this time I'm gonna click on the mask, press Command I. And this time I'm gonna go with enough white. Press OK and I think we're done. Um, now it's time to apply some textures. So, so I'm gonna import some of my textures. I'm going to use my Holy Scans texture pack. Um, I'm gonna press Command O, navigate to the file and pick my texture. So I'm going to use this texture one. Press Command C, Command V, and set it to screen. Okay. So. Right now, I'm not very pleased with the levels of black or the darkness of the texture. I want it a, bit, a little bit lighter. And to do this, press Command L and pick this mid-tone mid slider and take it to the right. Like so. Press OK. And then um, I want the same texture applied to the background. Okay. So, except this time, um, we have a dark. Uh, uh, not a dark but a white background so we need to adjust the texture to fit that texture and blending mode so we're going to duplicate our texture invert it and set it into multiply okay then i'm gonna decrease the opacity to around 40 30 40 will do i think i'm gonna adjust uh, the dark slider or the shadow slider i'm going to bring it to the right and play around with this mid-tone slider just to kind of bring those little uh, paper texture uh, details back let's adjust this background color and we're done obviously for now you can add um, topography you can add vector elements you can um, really take this uh, this uh, design and even add more to it um, it's up to you this is the technique in general and I really hope you've learned something from this video so that would be it and let me see you on another one